he was aware I was coming I think my one pack something like that but and this was a city where I knew nobody I came because of you anger don't penetrate deep inside my body I had already been turned off <laughs> Good afternoon from Oka, Anambra State of Nigeria. Welcome back again to another beautiful video. Thank you so much for clicking. I really do appreciate. If you're meeting me today for the first time, hello. My name is Linda and I'm a mom vlogger based here in Oka. For my OGs, you guys are everything. You guys are the reason I'm still smiling, bubbling. Reason I'm still alive basically because if you don't watch my videos and I get this little money that keeps me going in life, if I don't go older, but you guys shimba ma na ma man older, and I really do appreciate that. Thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you guys for today. Of course, I want to quickly chit chat with you guys. A lot of you love my chit chat video, and I'm here with another one today. So please relax, sit back and I'll be right back. So, I want to tell you guys how <laughs> story time, when I was single, the first time I visited Patakot, my first experience, and why I always say I hadn't been to Patakot in as much as I had gone to Patakot, I'm here to share the story with you guys. This is something I have forgotten before. But because of my political visit recently, I just remembered that. Yes, I've been done go this city before, but it was not a pleasant one. It was good. So I started to come and chit chat with you guys and share my story on how I visited Patakot that I did not visit Patakot. Like, I, I visited Patakot, but I didn't visit Patakot. Yes. <laughs> so this was when I was still single, of course, single and still searching. I met this guy. I met him at his village. I went on a friend's uh, marriage, and after that marriage, I followed her to her husband's house. And over there at her husband's house, I met this guy. So they are the same village with that particular uh, friend of mine, like the husband. They are the same village. So I met the guy. I spent two days, I think two days, yes, it was two days. And during that two days, no, it was three days. During that two days, three days, this guy was keeping me company in that village, you know, by meetings. You know, as a young girl, uh -huh. uh, all, the, all the little, little things I'll be needing, he would just be buying it. I saw him at, as a village guy. Up until the third day, he now told me that he is based in Parakot. I can't say I would have been interested because in my life, when I was single, I did like a ready made. Mm. I don't know that mentality of man, we don't they like you don't fix yourself right those days. Like growing up, that was my mentality. I do my like me a village things. I love my men mature, you know, and it takes you to be mature in my own mentality that time. You got a <laughs> so. When he now told me he based in Paracot, and I found it interesting. Man, it's one or two. I, I can come down, can exchange number, become the yarn. And the, the the third day that I left, it was with his uh, bike. He took his bike to drop. Like you know those villages that, when you start stop at the main road, you have to go inside inside the village. It it was at it at Enugu, but I wouldn't want to mention there. So you have to go inside, inside to locate the village. It was that. So he took his bike or maybe his brother or mother's bike to bring me outside the road that day. And I took a bus to my hometown. We exchanged number. We started talking up until some months later. This guy was that guy that could buy you credit even when you don't ask. Now credit is the buy. You know, do pass that credit, Shasha. So he come invite me to Paracourt. And I've never been to Paracourt before. I had always wanted an opportunity to make me go to Paracourt. So I just jumped into it. <laughs> so... That day, now I be a bogo with him, I never get level, but I still be. I, I see the fees I get level, but that time forget I never get level. So when he invited me, of course, na transport I go, I go take go. Uh, who they talk about flights? Eh? Who dash me? <laughs> so I took 
transport to Parakot. He was aware I was coming. I, I think I left. I went from Oweri. That time I was schooling at Timo State University. I think I left by 3 p.m. from Oweri. It was after lectures that day. And I left by 3. I quickly ran home, showered, and then headed to the park. I entered bus. And from Oweri to Parakot was just two to three hours. I was sure I was at the park by 6 p.m. that day exactly 6 p.m. i was at, i was at the park i think my one pack something like that but my something pack i got to the park i after 6 p.m. and i was calling this guy at first he wasn't picking and later he now picked after like 10 times calling he now later picked and where he was was so noisy i tried to make him hear what i was saying he now had to shift and call me back after like one hour okay man who just say one well, let me say 30 to 40 minutes later and i was stranded at that park and this was a city where i knew nobody i came because of you obviously I won't come to contemplate. What will I do with myself now? And I had just 2009. Inside that 2000 era, I took that transport. I didn't have any money, like, to go lodge myself in a hotel. None of my family, like my parents, knew I went to Portacourt. How will I now call you to send me money that I'm stranded in Portacourt? I was just, like, at that park, thinking of what to do. I waited for this person to call, and he let her call back. He could hear me at the, at, uh, by that time. And I was like, what is all this? He said, sorry, sorry, sorry that he's coming. Sorry, sorry, sorry that he's coming. At this time, it was already to 8 p.m. I was just still at that park, a young girl. Thank God I didn't go with, like, bags. I just had my uh, laptop bag at my back. I was so angry. Like, Iwabagoma, anger don't penetrate deep inside my body. I waited after it. And it could not in Accra. I was still at the park. By that time, some drivers had already started checking me. Uh, they already noticed that I was stranded, kind of. So some were rendering like uh, help. I should come and sleep with them. Well, the other guy now said I'm free to sleep with him inside his car till tomorrow morning. Then I can follow the bus that are going to weary. You know, a lot of help. We are coming from there. I was now contemplating, should I sleep with the one in the car or should I follow the one to go home? And I was like, if I follow this one to go home now and he come the one they rape me for house. If I now stay in the park, uncle, this one come one call. I was just thinking, what will I do with my life? I was super stranded. Thank goodness. I would say thank goodness. This stupid idiot, because I'll call him stupid. He now finally came. Guys, I'm that type that if you keep me standing. Eh? Like if you keep me waiting, nothing will for my prick reach that one. It's, I no get prick, man. Like this Igbo language, I say I'm a damn, I'm a daram. Eh? That is a bit turn me off. Like turn me off as as soon as possible. I had already been turned off. I was so angry. He now came. He now took me to a transport, like a public transport that took us from this, from that park. <laughs> we first entered bike that brought us out somewhere. That time, but that cuts never fine like he take fine now. But that cuts way, I they remember now where I go that time. It'd be like Abba. Mm. He now took me with bike. We got to a place, we, we stopped and now entered public transport, but it wasn't so far public transport to a particular bus stop and then we stopped and trekked inside it was night if you ask me where i went i can't tell the only thing i remembered was the park where they dropped me it was my something i think my one my two or my three no past my something my my something then we went into his home he happened to be a public yard i could remember i was walking on top soccer pit to locate the like his own room it was one room not self con a general bathroom and general toilet one room. Ah! Big boy will be a beautiful in body. That, like, if you look at this guy, he looks rich because he's chubby. He's chubby. He's black, looking cute, you know. He know to get height, shasha. But the guy, do okay. I least expected him to stay in such a house. Now I can't enter. House was very dirty. Bed, they no dresser. Somebody you told you we are coming. You know, even say make it clean in room, wait for me. 
Everywhere was so scattered. Clothes were rattled on the floor, on the bed. You know that hanger that carpenter people would just do and they would hang on the wall, open hanger. He could throw clothes on top of that thing without hanging it. That was how scattered that room was. I'm smelling as well. Ah, as the good girl will be. No be safe for good girl matter or I wanted to entice or impress anybody. I could not sleep in that room if I don't do anything about it. That's the truth. That night, that night, I begin clean up. I can't clean up the whole place. At least good enough for me to sleep because I hate cockroach. And I know say that environment was a cockroach and the, and, and the change. Bed bug is change. You go there that house. So I was able to clean. I even mopped. He, he said, let him go and look for what I will eat. And I went and bought mama put. When he came back, I was like, I want to shower. Please lead me where to go and shower. Guys, if you see where I showered. In fact, no need. I just had to deal with everything I was seeing. I showered there. Ashasha came inside. I wore my nighties. And I laid on the bed thinking about my life. Praying for morning to come. You know those days that the like chief for Gadeka next year. It was so difficult for morning to come that day. I just maintained. I ate, I ate that food with fear. I was like, is it drugged? But it was super hot. So because it was hot, I was like, if if, if food poison did this food now, see, take hot like this, say this hot will kill that poison. So I ate as it was so hot. And then I laid on the bed and then I slept. While I was eating, he had gone to buy drinks. And when he came back, he, I now told him to go and shower because he was thinking of heat. So he went to shower. Before he could come back, I had slept because I was so stressed. Stressed from the, the, the coming, stressed from the cleaning. I had slept. It was into the sleep that I now started noticing someone that hugged me. I wanted to like talk, but one man said, You will walk out of my house. They don't go hug you. I just maintained. I think say na hug na ain't go end the matter. From hug or get on the near breast. Woman, way you provoke, you never apologize, nothing. You did not even prepare for my coming. You want fuck, you the mad. I got on the near breast. I just still maintain, I keep quiet. From breast, so I got on the presser. Uh uh, uh uh. As you just press her like this, now hold her hand and say, nah, what's going on here? He said, eh. <laughs> he didn't talk. He can't call the leak my ear. I said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm tired. Please, I want to sleep. Already, we agreed that I was spending the weekend. I came on a Friday to go back on Sunday. So, in his mind, he knew I was going to spend two days. So, I just told him, we have tomorrow and we have Sunday. Please allow me to rest. I'm tired. As you can see, all the things that I have done. He now said, no, now. He now said, no, now. No, now. I just felt in my head that maybe it was the 90s because <laughs> as babe, where they go, my house. I used my last card. Go buy better 90. You got to go. Not knowing that Nagura Gura man, I won't go see. Like I said, no, that money where I used to buy that 90. At the mat, money will go leave me for another two weeks in school. I used to go buy 90 where to impress idiot. My man just told me that that 99 that attracted him because all my life I had had a figure. Not that my shape don't fat rich like this, but I day coffee since my life. All my life I day coffee. No matter how small it is, all but a figure eight. eight, eight. So my man just told me that he was tempted because of what I was wearing. And I asked if it had if he had wrappers. He said yes. He gave me wrapper. Now I am tied wrapper. Lie down. Say I beg. Close your eye. Don't touch me again. Let me sleep. Tomorrow morning, we'll continue from where we had stopped. He said, okay. And now slept. I think Oga could not bear it. In the midnight again, he started again. Uh -uh. And now got angry. And then I started shouting at him. started screwing him. I was like, are you okay? What's wrong with you? Someone who just came to your house today, today, with everything that I had passed through, that you have made me go through, you're still doing this. I picked offense. Shouted at him, you know, he was like, he wanted to shout at me back, oh, confirm my little boy. But he can't maintain because if he shouts, he defeats it, I could go back the next day. I will not stay till the whole time that I had planned to stay. But me now, nah, Shasha, I know, say, okay. <coughs> I'm a mean guy, cousin. 
Pink leaves. <laughs> Me now we don't know say I they leave the next day. Like in Kembuche for Korea for as early as 6 a.m. I don't jabba. But for him, he didn't know. He, to him, he was like, mm, let me maintain. She be I still get tomorrow and next tomorrow. Or God just pack. When I can't sleep. Early mo mo mo. I know even bath. As early as 6 a.m. Until then wake up, wear clothes. I wake up, bro. Say. He was surprised. I said, good morning. He said, morning. What's going on? I said, nothing. You know. ah, I'm rushing down. I had a call. We had emergency quiz at school that my friend had just just dropped a message for me that we have emergency quiz by 10 a.m i need to rush back to where as soon as possible he knew it was lies and i was like eh? he wanted to like come with petty way to see that i dropped my pot of soup i said no and i had to come with a harsh way we want we now come quarry i got can say no get transport to give me Bet me, I was going to that journey. I didn't go with any money. I had just 2,000 naira. This guy frustrated my life. And my account was zero. <laughs> and remember, I had nobody. Like, I know nobody at Potakot. This is where you have to learn something, my brothers and sisters. If you are a young girl, before I end the story. If you are a young girl watching this video, and if you are going for a visit, plan yourself. Get ready. Pam, pam, pam. Don't ever be caught on fresh. Don't ever get yourself stranded. Transfer will go carry you go that place where they go and carry you come back. Make sure you have it in your hands before you venture into that travel. Yes, if you're a young girl watching this. And before you go visit a man, eh? Do video call. Make it show you around the house. So that you go know, have expectations of where you're landing. Yes, it's very important, very necessary. And then before you go visit somebody, be sure that person is responsible. This guy was irresponsible to have kept me at the park close to five hours. I ride there and he was sick in the head. So be sure that person is responsible before you will spend your time, risk and travel. And he was the originally responsible man to threaten me with transport. I think I had 350 with me in my bag and i'm that type of person that i don't like insults immediately he threatened that he doesn't have transport i just walked out Bam. now when i call richie gates i can't ask myself nah, in a, who you they who you they who you they coaca for bro bros where you don't know where you even know after anything for you want the brag like where you don't say you know who sh -sh. no go go kanda she say you collect transport uh -huh. I didn't get you to say, bros, go find me, come. I borrow a day house. I borrow no even come out. I did the 30 minutes, bros, no come. Now, I can judge the trust women with my emotional face. I was like, so this is how truly you are? He can't they look at me. I just they talk. So this is how truly you are? It's so disappointing. It's so painful. I feel so bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Naka. Bros just they look me and I can't they shed tears. I thought you loved me. Mbadike. Bros no talk. Until I talk finish, the thing no they enter. I carry my body, the near brother. I can't begin to touch him. Why are you treating me like this? I can't they touch him. Why are you behaving like this? Bros, why can't they touch me back? I got for in mind, if I no fuck you, I will not give you transport. I'm not going to number one go. I'm going to go one And I said, okay, it's obvious you really want to do, even when I'm not ready. No problem. Let's do it now. And I said, okay, I should remove my clothes. I removed my clothes. I was wearing only pants and bra. Yes, see it, but you're not going to touch them. And I said, give me the money for my hand, though. Before I lie down, I don't trust you. You're not responsible. You're a very responsible guy. Give me my transport, my whole land for hand before we start. He said, no. I said, I, I go run naked. I don't come out everything. I'm only wearing pant and bra. Give me now. He now gave me, I think, 5,000 naira. I'm pitching everything inside bag. I can't they play with them. I can't they kiss them. The next thing I say, condom. He said, no get condom. I say, ah, I be one do it without condom. He said, yes. I say, for waiting. We no run tests now. 
He said, trust me. I said, but I don't trust you. I don't trust you. He can't they touch, touch. I said, oh yeah, go buy you. You go buy or I go and buy. He said, make you go buy. Bros won't go buy. Won't come, they lock me. I said, why you won't lock me up? Don't lock me. I'm not a slave. Don't lock me. Go and buy. You should be able to trust what I can do. Go and buy. I'll be back. He said, okay. He now left. I don't wear wear clothes. Stand for door. Outside the compound. I know what I go get to. I day for the compound. People day in a public yard. I got to enter with condom. And they come out. I just don't say and if they come. I can't approach them. As I reach where in there, I hold them for hand. I said, please, I can't do this. He said, waiting. I said, no, shout. Though. If you shout, we go begin shout. Don't disgrace yourself. Oh. Me, I just wait and listen to what I want to say. He saw your man, Sam. I said, Scott, me go pack. Make I go down to where. You tomorrow, come down to where. I'm not living in a hostel. I have a comfortable home that will accommodate the two of us. Please, come down to where tomorrow. I can't. Bros, don't look and say, are they ready to scatter table? He just said no problem that he will come. That was how your sister left. Straight to the park. Entered back and I went to the park and entered transport. I returned back. Bros, they call me. I know the pick call again reached today. As I'm talking to you now, I never picked the call. I had moved on. So, the reason why I'm sharing this story is, those days we take a lot of risk that, these days you can't do it. Yahoo boys don't yakba. If you the waka, I beg the reason and where may they no go use person do yahoo yahoo. I could remember those days my dad used to say they were privileged to do a lot of things those days of theirs, but in our days sickness is STD, HIV don't come out. Like when he's advising you, he will tell you that during their time they were so privileged. And this is what I think as well now. During our time it was HIV, STD, all those things. But now those sicknesses they plus ritualists. Plus Yahoo boys, a lot of other things don't still enter German. Please, so be careful. If you're a young girl, before you go meet up a man, be sure you already know that person. I'm sharing this story now because I don't know which time you wanted, but I just wanted to share it here so that you get your heart guided. And of course, protect yourself if you're doing anything do with your brains thank you so much for watching i'll be ending it here hopefully you had fun watching my story time and i will see you again on another one don't forget i'm still your babe lily poops tv and i sign up bye